Phil Dampier, who has been writing about the royal family for nearly 30 years reveals in his book Prince Philip of Lifetime of Wit and Wisdom the Duke's greatest selection of wise words which went as far as Philip bashing claims the royal family are secretive. In the book, published in 2017, he claims that Prince Philip said, we are not a secret society. Even Thomas Markle, Meghan Markle's father, once attacked the royal family, claiming they are like Scientologists because of their cult-like secrecy. Speaking to The Sun newspaper in 2018, from his home in Rosarito, Mexico, Mr. Markle said they are either like Scientologists or the Stafford family. They are cult-like, like Scientology, because they are secretive. A few members of the royal family have been accused of being part of secret movements, including Freemasonry, although only two current royals are publicly known to be part of the society. The Duke of Kent has been the Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England for over 50 years, meaning that the Queen's cousin is the most senior Freemason in the hierarchy. Stranger still, Prince Charles has been accused of being a vampire. The Prince of Wales is a great-grandson 16 times removed to Vlad III the 15th century Wallachian nobleman known as the Impaler, whose orgies of torture and blood inspired the vampire legend in Bram Stoker's Dracula. Prince Charles joked in 2012, Transylvania is in my blood. The genealogy shows I am descended from Vlad the Impaler, so I do have a bit of a stake in the country. There is even a religious movement based on Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. For one small community, deep in the rainforests on the southwestern part of the island of Tana in Vanuatu, the prince is regarded in a far more spiritual way. The Prince Philip movement, which started in the 1960s and is still going strong today, believe that Prince Philip originated from Tana and is keeping their culture alive in the UK. The tribe believe that the Duke of Edinburgh was born to fulfill an ancient prophecy that the son of an ancient mountain spirit would one day take the form of a pale-skinned man, travel abroad, marry a powerful lady, and eventually return to the island. When villagers saw the prince's portrait, they felt the spirit in it, and when he visited Vanuatu in 1974, they were convinced. Chief Jack Niva, a respected warrior in the culture, greeted the royal yacht and caught sight of Philip on board. I saw him standing on the deck in his white uniform, Niva said to Mental Floss magazine in 2012. I knew then that he was the true messiah, 